So now we have a strategy where all we have to do is find the deal and then somebody else finds us the buyer and we actually make more money. Yo, yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Please, before we get into this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. But listen, I wish I knew this information before I started my wholesaling business. If you are the one going out and finding the deals, you should not be the one finding the buyer for those deals. Now, this is going to sound crazy, but in the beginning, when I was doing everything in the business, finding the deal, finding the buyer, doing the transaction coordinating, I was actually making less money than now when all we do is find the deal. So now we have a strategy where all we have to do is find the deal and then somebody else finds us the buyer and we actually make more money. You're going to see in this video just one of those strategies where we cold call realtors in the area. You're going to see this property that I'm calling on right now. I've never been to this city before. I've never done a deal in the state before. I've never, I have no idea. And you're going to see me set an appointment for a potential buyer and a potential person who's going to find us the buyer for this deal. Literally like a six minute conversation can end up leading to us finding a buyer without having to go out and do all the cold calling to cash buyers and do everything. But let's just get into this video. Hello. Hey, this must be Mike. Yes. Mike, my name's Mike as well. How are you? Doing great. Hey, so really quick, I have this property under contract in I'm a buyer. I buy a bunch of properties nationwide. This okay. one, we are looking to dish off to another investor. And I see that you had a listing over and this is probably about like six months ago or so on and yes. it's kind of similar to that. Actually, it's fairly similar. Same I think it's like 2,000 square feet. This one doesn't have as much, isn't as much beds and baths as the other one, but we're looking for a buyer for it and was wondering if I see that you had that one. I don't know if you were the buyer or maybe you had connected a buyer, but anyways, we're looking for a buyer for the other one that we have in Fairmont on Glen Ave. Okay. All right. What's the address? 704. 704. Okay. I do have some investment people that I work for. I don't do it myself. I don't compete with my clients. Okay. But I'd like to just do a drive-by and take a look and then reach out to a few people, see what I can do. Love it, yeah. Is this your cell phone? Yes, it is. Cool, I'll text you the address. It's but I'll text it to you so that you have it. We have a 30 day close for it. So essentially we have this deal under contract. It's not a good fit for us just for sake of like where it is in the marketplace. Just West Virginia yeah. really isn't our market. We're up here in Boston, so. We're just going to get rid of this one to another investor. So pretty much usually when we are, you're a realtor, correct? Yes. Love it. Okay. So usually when we work with realtors on these types of deals, we either just split whatever fee we get for doing the deal, or if you want to do a percentage, whatever works for you, if you want to run it through your brokerage or whatever the case is that works okay. for us. But essentially we're just looking for another investor to come in and buy the contract from us. And then they'll just end up buying the house instead of us. Right. Okay. And then what is your set fee? What I mean, if you've got somebody that's going to buy it, what do you need out of it? Um, I got to go back and run all the comps and stuff and get pictures back from the house. Actually, if you would feel comfortable with going there and getting pictures for us, that would be amazing. I don't know if that, that would be something that you would do. Exterior or? Interior, if you could, or both. Interior. Okay. How would I gain access? I can connect you to the sellers directly. Okay. All right. Yep. Has it been involved in a fire? No. Okay. All right. <laughs> At least not from our conversation. So it shouldn't have been. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll be happy to take a look and, and go from there. All right. Cool. Why don't I have a conversation with the seller and set you up on an appointment to go check it out? Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. When were you available for that? Let's see. Take a look at my calendar. Let me put you on speaker here. Maybe the first part of next week, Monday or Tuesday. Okay. You aren't in the area this week at all? I got too much going on this week. Okay. I'm in the area. I just got so much going on okay cool well as far as we were hoping to find a buyer for it at some point this week as far as maybe not you getting out there but as far as you connecting some buyers do you think that that would be a potential uh, to be able to get done uh, this week or I can, I can work it in tuesday two days from now the 26th in the around lunchtime that's possible okay so the 26th which is a wednesday yes okay wednesday around lunchtime yeah. All right, let me see if I can connect with the sellers. And then if you wanted to bring some buyers as well while you walked it, that'd be cool as well. We're looking to just get it off our hands as fast as possible. So, okay, very good. All right, All right brother. Mike, okay. thank you so much. Really quick before I let you go, as far as um, 
like what you do in that area what was it that you guys focused on well i have sold more investment rental properties in marion county over the past five years than anyone and it basically is because i've got some good clients that uh have up over a hundred units mm. and then because of that they've also sold off a little bit of their portfolio and so that's basically my investment rentals what i do Okay, love it. Well, this is perfect. If it's a deal, then it sounds like you'll be able to find the right buyer for it. It is a fixer-upper, so it's going to need some love. But I'm sure you've yeah. dealt with a lot of that. Yes. Cool. All right. All right, brother. Let me call the sellers. I'll get back to you probably here in the next hour or so with an exact time around lunchtime Wednesday. Thank you, Mike. All right, Mike. Appreciate it, brother. Bye. Bye-bye.